Teresa. Sincere. Tactical sight. I just took my um, timer on. So we got four different exercises. Got um, don't pace yourself. You get easier as as we get go on through the exercises. So we'll just check it. So the first exercise will just be from there, just switch, kick, switch, kick. Second exercise would be a burpee. So from there, down into the, just put that slightly lower. From there, down on the floor, squat back there, just stand up, no jump, there, there. Up. Third exercise will be star jump, but not jumping jacks. Touch the floor, up, touch the floor, up. And the fourth exercise will be um, so we fourth exercise will go for a squat, kick, my gang, squat, kick. So switch kicks. Burpees from there, down, there, stand up. Next exercise, star jumps, touch, up, touch, up. And then the last exercise will be, I should do that some more time. Squat, kicks, my mind's gone black. Okay, so get ready, can you switch kicks? Just check the timer on, get ready, go. The next one is the star jumps, touch your floor. On the next one, burpees. And the star jumps. And then knees up. And if you want, just do a little circular moves first. It will cheese again if you want to mix it up a little bit. And down into burpees, go. Keep going. And she star jumps. Keep going. Need you done with these? Next one, squat kicks. Uh, squat, yeah, squat kicks. Get a shooting time. 
my Gary's just chew down squat my gay chew down This is going to be the hardest round. It's easier each time now. And straight back to the start. Switch kicks. Babies next. And down, change to it. Just no push up and no jump. And star jumps. Put your floor, the palm of the hands, and your knees. And squat kicks. And back into his Gary's. It's not so long this time. Keep going, keep his hands up. Keep going. And boobies. And 
and star jumps. And finish off, squat kicks. And one more round then after this. <sighs> Last round, work as fast as you can, as it's only 15 seconds per exercise. I'm going to use your mat. He's going to switch kicks. And boobies. And star jumps. And squat kicks. Last 15 seconds. And yummy, and now we're a quick sip if you want a drink, just change your view. Right, from there, just slowly down the legs, keep the, keep the legs straight, down to the floor, Lean down, touching fingertips to the floor, interlock the hands, slowly come up, up to the ceiling, turn your hands over and stretch up, over to your right, and then over to your left. And again, down, touch the floor, hold your hands this time, just set to gravity, pull your, head, pull your body down to the floor, keep your back, keep his legs straight as you can. And come up, push your hips forward this time, and look behind you. Open your legs a little bit wider. And again, down. Put the palm of the hand, start bending your elbows. And then again, fold your arms. And again, let the gravity pull you down. Come up in a little bit, and from there, shoulder width wide, walk forward, and hold, press the position straight back, nice, good press the position, hands just below the shoulders, by your or below your chest, then drop your hips down to the floor, Back up into a high bridge. Try and get your heels on the floor. And then go forward again. Arch your back. And from that position then, 
Keep your hands where they are. And try and get your bum on your heels. And stretch forward. And start opening your knees up. <laughs> and go down as low as you can and push them hands out. And then come in for a little bit. And from there then turn your heels outwards like a frog position. And then now turn your heels out. And again, just go down on your knees, that elbows, and gently rock back. Open your knees out a little bit. And again, gentle rock. And then drop down onto your chest and push back a little further. Try and open your legs a little bit wider again. And from there, straighten your legs, lie flat on the floor, bend your leg up. Grab onto your ankle and lift your foot up off the floor. Lift the thigh off the floor so you should pull it on. And then anti the other leg. And from there, roll over, lift the leg up, straight in the air, grab the leg behind your calf and just pull it foot back. And keep it as straight as you can. And then grab it higher up your ankle. And relax, change legs. So just grab it just below your knee on your calf and keep your legs nice and straight. And pull that leg far back as you can. Then grab it up higher, up the and your ankle. And relax. So from there, um, come back up into the standing position. And from there, just rotate your hips. And then the other way. Big, big circle. And then arms backward, just rotate your arms. Full circle. Arm forward. Arms back. Elbows first, then arms. Keep going. And then from there, place your hand out. Straight, straight out, grab all your fingertips, put your fingers back. Thumb to forearm. Make a fist, squeeze it tight as you can, grab all your um, wrist and punch down. With the other arm, pull the fingertips back. Thumb to forearm, give his thumbs right back. Those who fight, no way. Uh, Knocking these thumbs, a little knock and takes weeks for heel. Stretch your back. And then make a fist, squeeze it as tight as you can, grab all your wrist, punch down. Put onto your belt or forward at you, look up to your ceiling and down to the floor. Left to right. Side to side. In a circle and anti the other way and anti and anti. Tidy your geese, tidy yourself up, have a quick drink.
Uh, we can do a couple of kicks or a couple of kicking exercise. So from there, should be nice and warm. But if you're not, if your house is or garages or outdoor areas, whatever you're training, because so what we start, we're going to do kiades. Okay, so we start. If you can't, if you're not quite warm, you should start off at least just about head height or however high you can go. And by the end of it, it should be nice and warm and go as high as you can. So fighting stands. You all right? As you may. So start off. So what we're going to do is just 10, 10 kicks off each leg. My kiaga. So it's just front kick, rising and up. Pointing your toes forward as you kick up. So it's like two circle. So as you're lifting it up, your foot in a two circle position, up and down. So for back leg, kicking my kiaga. Straight up and then back down. Itch. Knee, San, Chi, Go, Rook, Shish, Hatch, Kill, Show, and Tie. Same off the other leg. Itch, Knee, San, Chi, Go. Rook, sheesh, hatch, kill, show, and tie. Uchikiaga, inside out. This time, kicking with a high circle. Let's try to put the flat of the foot. So as you come up, turn your foot out and round. Inside out, uchi uh, kiaga. Itch. Ni, San, Chi, Go, Rook, Chish, Hatch, Kill, Show, and Die. See my feel like Itch, Ni, San, Chi, Go. Rock, cheese, hatch, kill, show, and I'm done. Sort of here now. You can move the arch part to the foot, the tear circle. So you're coming outside this time, coming in. Itch, knee, sun. Chi, go, rock, sheesh, hatch, kill, show, and tie, off the other leg now, itch, knee, san, chi, keep your hands up when you're kicking, go, rock, sheesh, Hatch, kill, show. And then the last one, sort of, sort of, yeah, yoko kiaga. So again, so from there, we're going to kick to the front, just turn to your front, kick in with a sakoto part of the foot, the knife edge part of the foot. And if you can, hook the one big toe up and the four toes pointing down. Try and keep your heel parallel to the ceiling, okay? So when you kick, don't turn your foot up to so your highest part is your toes. Okay, you want to try and keep it parallel. So can we kick into the front? Yoko Kiaga. Itch. Good. Knee. San. Chi. Go. Rock, Chish, Hatch, Go, Go, and I die. H, B, Sun, G. Four. Sheesh. 
much. Two. Two. And now we're uh, 20 sit-ups, just normal sit-ups. And then a quick sip if you want to drink. Have a quick drink if you want to drink. All right, fight the stance. Good. As you may. So this time, one count. My Kiaga. Uchi Kiaga. Okay, the count's going to be faster now. Just try and keep up. If you can't keep up, don't worry. We can only do eight or, eight or seven. Just do seven or eight. It's my time. You ready, Anne? As you may. Itch. My Uchi. Knee. San. Chi, Bo, Rook, Chish, Hatch, Q, Chu, and anti. You feel the right? Hitch, Knee. Soto Kiyage now. So it's my Uchi Soto. Get ready then. Itch. Three kicks. Knee. So try and keep his legs straight so you kick in. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Cheese. Hatch. Kill. And die. See my tail side. Hitch. Knee. Sun. Chi. That's good. Rook. Sheesh. Hatch. Kill. Two. And die. Last ones. So from there. You might, you Uchi, you Soto, you Yoko, Kiaga. Okay? Hands up. Last ones. Itch. Me. Me. 
Sun. She. Sheesh. Hatch. Here. And I'm die. Last ones. Hands up. Hitch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Last one, two. And now we're uh, have a quick drink if you want. Okay, so everyone on your backs. So, first of our sit ups, we're going to do is from there lifting over an object. So, imagine something's on the floor. All we want is lifting up and over 25 times. Okay? So, in your own time, the gym. Next one, what I want to do on your backs, come up to halfway, and I want you to punch diagonal. So it's very much like a Russian twist, get your hand back into basic punch position, or we'll be punching out to the side. Go for 20 punches to the side, so it'll be 10 off each side. So from there, it'll be one, two, three, four. Okay, so starting from this position. Get ready. Is your mouth? And down as you've finished. Uh, 
And then the next set is going to be a hook and stasky. So you come up again halfway, and what I want is hook, stasky, hook, stasky. Again, we go for 20. If you can't get a hook in, white belt juniors, just do stasky. Okay, if you can do the hook and a stasky, hook, stasky, do the both exercises. So from there, I'm going to go for 20, 10 off each side. As you're up. And cadets, stand up. Right, we're going to do um, some exercises to enhance the, your yoko gary. So yoko side gary kick. So with the yoko gary, you kick with the knife edge part of the foot, the sokoto. Okay, this part here. And again, like the Kiage, big toe up and the four little toes down. So the first exercise, we're just going to use our hips to thrust the kick out. Okay, so everybody back down on the floor. Okay, and bend one leg in and put the other leg straight and into the Yorkogari position. Place your hand on the floor, the other hand on your hip. And then from that position, just thrust your hip out and back. Push your hip out and back. So try and feel that in your hip, feel it thrusting out and back. Okay? Your gay is very powerful kick. Some people just pick their leg up and chuck it out. It's very juniors or people who are very supple, they can just lift up, kick Jordan York Gary, but it hasn't got any power. Or oh, no thrust movement, just a straight up and a flicky kick. kick. Looks good, but it'll be weak as not correct. So from there, just to try 10, stretch out and back. Push your hip out, back. And then anti change, put your hands over, make sure that your big toe is up and try and get that foot flat on the floor if you can, okay, in the squat position. And then again, hand on your hip, other hand on the floor supporting you, and then from there, trust to kick out and back. Just 10 times. Then the next movement then, we're going to go back into your Yokogari on the floor, push your foot out, and then we're going to start to kick, okay? And again, we put one hand on the floor, other hand can just be held in this position, and all we can do is come up to this position and kick out and put it all back on the floor, okay? So come through, kick out, and again, 10 off each side, as you may. And then off the other side, once you've done 10 off each side. Make sure you concentrate on getting that foot in the sakata position, the knife edge part of the foot kick in. Keep your body upright.
And then from there, we're going to then kick again, but without putting it on the floor. And if you want to, you can enhance the kick for those who are used to doing the kick at the higher grades. You can come in from this position, get you up, kick, get you back. So you're doing the, your racking with the kick. So from there, we're going to do five off each side without putting the foot down this time. Okay, so we start off in your York Gary position. Bring that. Okay, so those who are not um, used to doing the your racking, and again, you can put your hand on the floor to give a bit of support. And what we're going to do is kick there. For those who can, can do it, just five times off, e off each each leg. As you may. And then five off the other side. Really concentrate on getting that foot in the Sakoto position. And once you're done, you stand up and do a couple of exercises then from the standing up position. So with the York Gary, as you kick, you pivot on that foot to thrust the kick, which opens up your hips to start. Okay, so when we would kick, we would come up and just surwash dachi, kick out, and then pivot on that foot, and then kick out and, and pivot back. So the full movement becomes up, kick, back, down. Okay, but before we get to that stage, what we're going to do is build up a little bit of strength in our legs. So in the York Gary, Position. All I want you to do in the Sakoto position, Sakoto position from there, Sakoto position, just lift your leg up and down. So make sure your foot is pivoted out so your, your hips are open and your foot is not pointing straight forward. Turn it to its angles on the floor. Okay, so from there, turn it out. And all I want is just gentle up and down. Doesn't matter when you practice these kicks, when you're starting. If you kick it, start in learning on the cassettes of Gary. Okay. Just lift it up and down. It's very time concentrating on that foot being in this that position. Okay, up and down. And then the other side. That's it. Keep it going. And then the next movement. We're going to start to learn to do the kick. So from there, come up and just shoot a washi dachi. If you notice my foot, I've already put my big toe up, ready to kick. And all I want from there is to pivot on that foot. We're not going to go more for a concept to Gary. We're going to go for a lower kick to start. So I want to concentrate on that pivoting on that foot. Itch. Knee. I really wanted to do the kick. All I wanted to do was concentrate more on this foot. Start. San. Chi. Go. And then anti. Just have to practice on the other side. H. Ni. San. Chi. Go. All right, so your next, next exercise, lift it up a little bit if you can. So all we're going to do is we're going to kick, hold the kick out, one, two, three, and fetch it back. So it's up, one, two, three, back, down. Okay, just go five off each side. Make sure you hold it. There, one, two, three, back, down. Okay, in your own time. And if you have to lower your kick, to get in the right position, it's better to lower it rather than just doing it so your foot, your foot is in the wrong position. So again,
Make sure you pivot it on the ball of the foot to open your hips out. And thrust the kick. And then back when you've done five to five off the other side. Not really good off his side. Better off from the other leg. It's good to practice both legs. You never know if one leg can get injured and then you've got to switch legs. Same when you fight in. Just give it your hips. Just give me a little circle of movement, side to side. So as you get older, you start feeling it more in your hips. The next exercise we'll do is the same kick, but we're going to kick up, one, two, back down. Okay, if you notice my foot, I kicked, I brought it back. I kept my foot up, kick, back, kick, back. Each time you pivot in on that ball of the foot, each time kick in, thrust in that kick out. So just try two kicks. If you're a higher grade, or if you're very supple and you're very good at uh, pivoting and thrusting that kick, try three or four. Okay? If you're doing three or four and you're just going, that's no good. Okay? It's got to be full movement. Okay? So just try two and then just do two, two off the other side and do alternate. Not so good off that side. <laughs> really feel your hip as you pivot, thrust in, out. Just don't die each time. Couple more. Good. Just watch a couple of you. Good. That's good, Kevin. Good. And now we're uh, have a quick drink. Drink and do a couple of press ups next. We haven't done many press ups yet, so we'll just go for 10 normal push ups. Seek in for those who can do seek in, juniors, just do flat of the hands, young juniors, the rest of you seek in. Just 10 full press ups. As there's only 10, and we haven't done any or many yet, I don't think we've done any. Make sure they're full ones as you may. And then just sit in the scissor and stand up. And then we go for 10 wide arm press ups. Nice wide, wide as you can. Okay, go as wide as you can, put your hands in a little bit, and then 10 as wide as you can. Scissor. And then we go for last time we go for kanku press ups. If you can't do kanku, maybe just do like an open kanku, and that way then you can gradually start coming in and working towards a full kanku. Just 10. Anchored it. I 
I was tonight going to work on um, a bit of basics coming up and down, but we didn't really have, and we got quite a lot of low grades on the call. So we just do a little bit of coming up and down um, movements. And we do Zenko Tadachi. Um, but for those who are higher grades and those who can, uh, or, done the, or even want to have a go, we can do some Kite and Sigari. Okay, some of you perhaps haven't even heard of them words. So what we're going to do, we're going to spin. So Zenko Tadachi, Mai Geren Barai. You know it? So you step back into your Mai Geren Barai. Okay? Looking forward this side, this way, to pop in more room. So from there, we're gonna, we would normally just come forward and do your punches. Okay, we do short stances, just put my camera down so you can see more. So from there, we're gonna do turn your foot. Okay, and with the back leg, step through and twist. Okay, if you haven't done this before and your white belts, red belts, you can just come forward, stepping forward, your normal step. For those more advanced, start with a couple of uh, sequences in kite. So we'll just do the foot movement first. We won't do any um, hand techniques. So from there, break, turn the stance. So it's very similar as if we're going to do like a Nishiro Gary from there, because I'm going to come around and spin. I'm not going to spin, I'm going to place my feet. So from there, I step through right past my hips and then pivot around. So you've got to make sure that when you finish your stance, your stance is shoulder width wide, okay? So you've got to make sure that when you step through, you don't just step and then spin because now I'm on a tightrope, my legs are parallel, okay? So just coming forward. So etch. Just break the stance. That way it's easier to get around with the hips. Knee, twist all the way through and pivot. That's a bit wider. Okay, and then we're going to go back the other way. So from there, turn your foot and then with the front leg, take it around and fetch it back. So we're going to go one way, then the other way. Just keeping these arms up and gammon cover. Pitch, turn foot out, step through, and step. When you get in your stance, have a look at your stance. It might be a bit wide, might be a bit narrow, or might be too short, but don't worry if it's too short, if you haven't got the room. If you've got the room, go into the normal stances. And then back the other way. So your front foot then goes around, back to your ankle statue, and back. If you're not too sure and you just want to step forward, just step forward and back. Forward, concentrating on your back leg straight, front leg bent, knee straight over um, above your ankle. Okay, knee so it's not leaning in. Let's just do a couple. So coming forward, let's still do a bit slow, those who can do it, just come forward straight to full movement. Itch. Knee. Etch. Knee. Etch. Knee. Okay, and from there, if you can, we'll add on um, some techniques. I'll go back to my feet to just show you some technique. So we go for a Morato Haito, followed by a Gya Chudan Morato Ski. Those white belts and red belts, if you just want to stick to punch, punch, that's fine. Okay, so the high grades, we go for a double Haito in the knife hedge from the neck, put the arms back, punch two down. Okay. I haven't really got enough room in here throughout my head and my body. 
so in a little bit. So from there, chitin, chitin is forward, itch, vagina strike, punch. Back the other way, itch. Good. Well done, um, is it Ariel? That's good for itch. Knee. Good. Good, Bailey. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. And Anta, did you like? Couple off this side. So from there, big stands, itch, step through, punch, and then the other way, knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Whoops. Ah, uh, no rare. We'll just do one other stance. We'll just do Koku Tadachi. Go, go for, yeah, we'll go for Koku Tadachi, the easier stance. Last. Couple of exercises. We won't do any fighting techniques tonight as we've done some on Monday. And uh, next Monday, there'll be lots more fighting techniques. So, right. Koku Tsudachi, stepping forward with your right leg, or your left leg, sorry. Blocking Chudan Uchuke, okay? Inside block. Do it. As you may. So, from there, should have been more movement now as there's a short stance, back stance. Those who don't know Koku Tadachi, this leg's pointing, foot's pointing to the corner of your room, 45. The other foot is three feet forward. So if I put my foot by the heel, one, when my toe ends, I put my heel, two, when my toe ends, I put my heel, and from there, bend both legs, front and back, 60F, 70%. For the weight on this leg, 30, 60, 40, okay? Bears don't just got different, okay? But most of the weight's on this back leg, so you can pick this leg up, no problem at all. So coming forward in Chudan Uchuke, in Kitan. So we'll just do the Chudan Uchuke, itch. So from there, pivot, step through, and block. And back the other way. Knee. Andy, change your Uchuka to a Haito Uchuka. And if any um, brown belts and above, then change the block to from a normal Uchuka. Or if you've got any yellow belts, open your hands and go for store Uchuka. The rest of you, white belts, red belts, just start, pick, uh, stay on the seat again, Chudan Uchuka. Itch. And back the other way. Knee. Itch. Knee. It's good if you've got lines. Um, I can say I got a line here. So I can put one foot on the one side, one foot the other side. So when I spin in, I can make sure that my 
stances on that straight line. Sometimes in your dojos, you've got some like button knife boards you can, or some lines you can follow. So with this stance, it's no further than the width of the belt, the foot on the floor, and no closer than the narrowness of the belt. Okay, so when you finish, make sure you know like foot's up here, should be, you fetch your back, you should just touch your heel. And again, a couple more coming forward, hitch, knee. Change your stance, I'm tired if you haven't already, hitch, knee. Hitch, knee, and now we're finish off on your back. Um, just we go for leg raises, but just little le leg raises to start. Okay, so instead of coming all the way up, start with the feet off the floor. Just come up to both that position and down. Okay. So 30 of them. So the so you're always coming up and down. It's just going to be to there, down 30 times. Keeping them legs nice and straight. Once you're done, just go side to side with the hips, just as we as we just rested. Just work our hips. Just touch them up if you want to. Just wait for everyone to finish before we do the next set. The next ones is going to be twenty, and this time we're going to go all the way up and to the full movement. So from there now, legs straight. From there, come up and down. Okay, 20 in your own time. As you may. Again, once you're finished, just rotate them hips, take some deep breaths. And the last set then is just going to be a set of 10. And this time, as you come up, you're going to try and get them legs, uh, you bend right off the floor and stretch up. So from there, legs straight up and push up. Up on your shoulders and down. Just 10 of those. As you may. Uh, once you're done, cadets. Good. Well worked. Nice to see the same faces or some new faces as well. It's good to see you all still training after weeks and weeks and weeks of being in lockdown. So from there now, big circular movement. Just rotating them shoulders, right down forward, left down back. And the other way.
And from there now, just rotate in your hip and your hips, your shoulders, in a circular movement. Just pushing them back, pulling your shoulder blades inwards. And then reverse it, go outside, reverse it outside in. And from there, rotate your hips. Big movements, we've done a little bit on your hip or quite a bit on your hips. Really push them out to the side as you rotate the them and the other way. And from there now, just go down, let your body hang, just let the gravity pull your body down, keeping them legs straight. Be able to get hands on the floor. Fists on the floor. And then come up, slowly come up, stretch up, interlock your hands up on your toes, stretch up full body movement, and then down to your left, down to the floor, down to your foot, then the other leg, and then back up. Big circular movement. And then the other way, pitch. And the other way. And again, push back, push your body forward, look behind you. And then slowly go down and then push your bum back, push your hands out to the corner of the room, stretch our spine. Then go down a little bit further, so you parallel to the ceiling, push your hands forward, straighten your legs, and once again, down to the floor and slowly come up. Good. Fudachi. Cesar. Senpai ni arigato gozaimishita. Right? Senpai ni arigato gozaimishita. Right? Otagani arigato gozaimishita. Right? Tata kudasai, stand up. First of all, thanks all for training and see you all on Monday. Peace.